logarithms rules. We are going to see more examples. Now we have this, but please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Let us see how we go about this proof. I don't understand if a squared plus b squared is equal to that, show that this is this, and now this is another type which is weird. It's having the same idea with this, but I'm going to handle this, you will handle this in your free time. Now, the ideas I'm going to use there, you know, the quadratic ideas is that if you have a plus b squared, when you expand this, this is what you get. Also, if you have numbers which are having the same power, it means that you can put them all under one power, like this. And you also know that if you have log of a, power a is power and not prime, no longer is there, as you see. Now, it means that this one, when you expand this again, this now, in our idea, you look at the proof you have. So that you have a plus b, it means that you have to create a plus b. But if you have squares from your question, it means that now, you need to use these squares and add something so that you get that a plus b. Then this one, you need a minus b. You will see how you handle that using this idea of a this. Now, let me start with what the question is giving us. Then you ask that a squared plus b squared is equal to this. Now, we need a plus b. But here we have a squared plus b squared. It means that now, I can add something to both sides and I use the idea and I express it in this form. You see that? To get this as a plus b, I need it here. It's not that I'm missing this thing here. So I'm going to add it to both sides. So I'll be adding now a squared plus b squared now plus 2ab. Now, if I add it this side, I also add it this side. The same thing here, then plus 2ab. So that we have not changed anything. We have added this side and also on that side. And when I simplify the all of this, it's that I'll be getting this from here. So I'm going to be adding now. Square, we will expand this. I'm sure I will get to this. This side we are having 23 plus 2, that's 25. But a B. Now you see, this side, I want to get a 5 down. But so that this square was dropped using this property. It means that I divide this, you know, 25. You know, our 25 is the same as 5. Square. So from there, I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to be adding now a plus b, this square, over 5 square. Equal it now a b. Why? Because another 25 is the same as 5 square. I divide it to both sides. I divide by 25, also 25, and this is that side. Now, this is that. We have the same powers, means that we can put all the in the bracket and then we get that same power out. So power 2, power 2, so this is the same as. Now the whole of this square equal to a b. Now, as far as my proof, I have a log to base 10. It means that they produce log to base 10, both sides. So I also introduce log. Power 2 base 10 equal to 2 to base 10. And now you see using this property, this property here, I can drop this power. So this power is going to come here. And now whenever I have log AB, means that you can expand to that. So then I have now log, this power is going to drop of A plus B, the all over 5. Then power, I mean base 10, equal to 2. We know from logarithms, this is going to be log of a base 10, then plus log of b base 10. And you see that surely our proof is done. Log of a base 10 is this. Or if you want to arrange the way how it is in the equation, log of a base 10 plus log of b base 10. Be calling 2 to log of a plus b over 5. The whole of this, I'm sorry, this is not there. Okay, so like that. And so that is our proof as required from the equation there.
that's the members. I think now you can try out this. So that this side, you need now in mind. So I'm going to just give you a hint on it. So in two, you, you are given a square plus b squared equal in two, six, and b. Now you see you need a minus, it means that you, what you should, it means that we are expanding a minus b squared. But means that now here, when we expand this, this is that you get, when we expand this, you get a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. means that now, you are going to subtract minus 2ab on sides. So, now minus 2ab will be equal to 6ab. Now, I subtract the same thing also on side. Minus 2ab. Now, so here we have now. The whole of this is equal to this. So a minus b squared equal to a. Simplify this, we get a of a b. Now, I think you see that we have a minus b. When you divide that off and you create a square like we did here, it's going to be the same thing there. So, if you are to handle that further, now you see we are going to be adding now a minus b. Squared over 4, which will be the same as x minus b, the whole squared over 2 squared equal to a b. We divide through by that. So this will be a minus b over 2, the whole squared equal to a b. And I think from here, we are able to complete into this law. Now you see that this side, after lowering this power, it divided it. Decide. I think from there, you can complete that. I will see you.